For the past months, I've been struggling to get you guys a 1.20 tutorial video for Feather Clients for to get you guys your modded servers for Feather Clients, but I couldn't find a way to do it. Mo Heist doesn't work, nor does Feather Client have a forge option. The best way that I could possibly do this is by teaching you guys some other alternative method to get you server. Until now, this is Ketting. Ketting is a server jar that is, I guess, sponsored by Magma or like people from Magma work on it. I don't know exactly what it is, but I just know that it is a server jar. By the way, for this tutorial, the server jar is going to be for 1.20.2. So you have to use 1.20.2 mods with the Ketting. But you can also add plugins, of course. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the latest, okay? Whatever the latest is, is going to be different for you guys. And then you click on server jar right here and then you'll download it right there. Assuming it's in your downloads folder, go to the gear icon, edit server. First, we need to make sure that it's on custom server for you guys. It may, might, might be even creating the server. So I might hit create server, whatever the case might be. So custom server 17 is the Java version because this is 1.20.1 slots, whatever you want for your slots for your server RAM. Preferably enough RAM for your mod pack to run on the server. So if you have like 16 gigs of RAM, you have better on Minecraft, for example, better Minecraft requires around six RAM gigs of RAM. Put six gigs here, you put six on your client to run it, and that should be fine. So that should be what you should do for the, the RAM. Save, hit the gear icon again, open folder. I already have all this like already set up, so I'm just gonna delete all of it just to show you what it from scratch. So what you're going to do is you're going to move the Ketting server jar. You like you open up your downloads folder and just move it over to the other folder or you just copy and paste the server jar over. So once that transfers over, we're going to show you the next step. This is taking way too long for nine megabytes. OK, there we go. So we're going to right click, edit the name, make sure it says server dot jar. The, the, the dot jar is the extension. The file extension is what tells the you know system what file type it is. So make sure it's server.jar. I just wanted to clarify that because people got confused and named their file server.jar.jar. So make sure you don't do that. All right, so you hit start server and what should happen is it should work. To add mods into the server, once you launch it up, you have to go to the mods folder and then paste your mods inside of this folder. And then of course restart it so that you can actually get the mods within the server. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I added the waystone mods for the testing purposes of this video. So we're going to be going ahead and launching up the Minecraft Curse Forge client that I have. And there we go. So we are actually in. I made myself an operator so that we can go into game mode, creative, and let's see the waystone mod is. And we have some custom waystones, warp stones. Disclaimer, Ketting is beta. So if you guys have issues with this mod, I'm not going to be able to solve it because there's not much that I know about Ketting itself. And also the fact that Ketting in general is in a beta stage. So there's going to be some errors, going to be some glitches, going to be some bugs. But this is the only way that I know that it works with Feather clients. So yeah, but most likely ears there's other ways out there that you can use aside from feather clients like you can use luna you can use uh essentials you can use a lot of different things and it's like probably going to be for the better for the long run but this is all i have for this video so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one take care and goodbye